All right, this is the test you've been waiting for. Real performance benchmarks. This is on the web, the place you always use. So it looks like it's about 40% faster than an iPhone 8. What happened to the billion transistor operations a second? And Jetstream, the CPU test gets 20% faster than an iPhone X processor, the A10X. Hmm. All right, my friends, for all you coders out there, let's see how easy it is to do some iOS development. Hey, okay, green light, that means it's detected. Do you want to trust this computer? Look at that, you can see activity monitor. Take a snapshot of this iPad and stop. And you can see these are all the processes that's run. So do you know Activity Monitor on Mac that I showed you in the other video? You can do pretty much that with the iPad. You want to install Xcode, which is a free Mac app. And you want to be running instruments. And you can see what the hell is going on in this app. And we are about to check out what's in store Stop. inside Mel. And you can see over here that the CPU usage, 37% is used by Mac, Mac kernel media servers using 46%. So 46% of the CPU is used to play back videos. I'll, I'll do some tests and report back to you, but so far it's, uh, it's, it's I'm just showing off basically. I know, I know iOS, that's it, I'm out. What happened? What? The iPad. Oh my God. It's taking us over. <gasps> what have they done to us? Help us, free us, 